Retail owns the flow 20 times, as Abe said. Eight years in naked shorting created billions of synthetic shares, which they need to convince us to sell back to them. Add in FTDs, ETFs, in the money calls, short, smart, long, all the things that the apes have now uncovered. And honestly, the list is pretty scary. And I personally, over the years in my videos, have went over so many of these things to this point where it's actually shocking. Comment down below the true, most shocking thing you've uncovered since you joined this AMC play. We have a new tweet from CEO Adam Aaron. This is obviously from a little bit back, but it says to the profits of doom certain that AMC would fail as a company and be forced into bankruptcy court in 2023. It is December 31st at the time of this tweet. So Adam Aaron said, we know that you are all wrong. AMC is still here, still innovating, still blazing new trails. So comment down below yes or no if you think AMC is going to fall into bankruptcy court sometime in 2024. Or for those of you like myself that are still holding, you think AMC is going to have a great year and beyond. This ape says this is how a company with over 90% good news stock action looks like, right? AMC, the biggest crime scene in economic history. Now, let's be real here. Every single thing that's been happening with AMC isn't necessarily ultra, ultra bullish. But like this ape says, pretty much like 90% of it or so has been. In regardless, even if half of the things going on within the company are looking good and looking to be on the up and up, this is not how a stock should trade. At least not what we think so. Comment down below the reason on why AMC, even with all the most recent bullish, bullish catalysts, is still trading down into the right. Let us know in the comments. This tape says, who remembers this completely natural stair step down right before reverse split? Pure market manipulation to drop AMC and A price. Now, of course, maybe we're all biased because we hold AMC stock and we want it to do well, but the way the stock has traded has seemed to be very manipulated. Comment down below if you think it's natural or if you think personally there could be some manipulation going on. This ape said, I noticed it says AMC is placing intermissions in some live and filmed events. I love it. Give a people a break to visit concessions a second time. Now, with the size of AMC theaters and how many movies and events they have planned over the next, say, 12 months, if they were to implement something as simple as, let's say, one more intermission on just some of the movies even or some of the live events, could you imagine how much more revenue they could perhaps make just from that alone? This is, of course, extremely bullish and could make AMC a lot more money when it's all said and done, but comment down below if you think this is good or bad. CEO Adam Marin has zero control over Wall Street and stock prices. I'm so sick of people wanting him to do something. What do you want him to say? What do you want him to do? Say something so they can accuse him of manipulating the stock? He cannot talk about that. All he can do is continue to keep AMC moving in the right direction. Against all odds. Working against chills, media, and all Wall Street. These Wall Street thieves and their accomplices in government are just itching to find a reason to get into the courts with him. As an ape, I continue to support the company because I am fully invested in it. I support Adam Aaron and everyone else on the board. I trust that they are doing the best they can, and I'm sure that they are just as surprised to see the FTDs on its 50th day. Now, this is a really good point, and I do think that a lot of apes are starting to get a little bit impatient, even angry, and I'm definitely in that camp as well. But we all have to realize also that CEO Adam Aaron can only say so much and control what he can control. And that's obviously very important to paint the entire picture of what's going on here. But comment down below, be honest, if you think CEO Adam Aaron should speak up and do more, or if you think he's doing a just fine job, let us know down below. The AMC craziness right now reminds me of when you watch a movie about a Ponzi scheme and you're enraged at the bad guys, but you sit there calm because you know that once you get to the end of the dock, everything gets exposed and the bad guys go down. We are now heading towards the end of the movie, it feels like. Comment down below. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC stock DD and information you need.